Today I'm going to show you how to do a double mount. A double mount has two mounts, a top mount and inner mount, and the inner mount quite often is five millimeters wide and in a contrasting color. If you go for something that is 10 millimeters wide, you might use the same color for the second mount. If you're using a really bright or very strong contrasting color, you might want to reduce the five millimeters to three millimeters. That's what I'm going to do today. I have a bright orange mount as an inner mount and I want to only just show the colour. So I'm going to use a three millimetre inner mount. To start with, I need to cut two boards, the top board or the window mount to glass size and the second board, the inner mount, in the demonstration I'm going to use, slightly smaller. So if this board was 250 by 200 mils wide, then the board underneath would be not 250 by 200, but 245 by 195. In other words, I'm going to reduce it in size by enough so that it just sits with inside that top mount. I'm going to start off by cutting the top mount. In my case, the top mount is the dark gray board. And I'm going to cut it three millimeters smaller, less than the actual border size. So my border size needs to be, my border size needs to be 55 millimeters. And so I'm going to cut this border at 52, three millimeters less than the actual border size. So I've set that 52 on my sliding scale, 52 on my top, and 52 on my bottom stop. The other thing that you might not be accustomed to doing is actually putting registration marks onto the board. The registration marks are just two pencil lines where, and they can be any kind of pencil line, where the mount cutter is going to go through. So let's start off and cut the 52 border. So I reduce the top mount by whatever the size of mount I want to expose. So if I want to expose five millimeters, I reduce the top mount by five millimeters. If I want to expose 10 millimeters, I reduce the top mount border size by 10 millimeters. Glass size remains the same. Now, the piece has fallen out very nicely and I can reinsert it using those registration marks. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reinsert it here. Lay the board absolutely as flat as I can. Ensuring that those registration marks are accurately going across those lines. And I'm going to use double-sided tape. You can either use finger lift double-sided tape, which is what I've done here, top and bottom. Or the alternative to finger lift double-sided tape is that you can use an ATG gun. This is um, has double-sided tape here on the rolls. And when you press your finger on the gun, it releases the, the rolls to, to roll so they can roll easily. And if you want to stop these from moving, you just let it go and it'll snap loose. So I'm going to squeeze the trigger, double-sided tape there, double-sided tape there, and a little piece in the middle as well. And the reason for that is that I'm going to stick the orange board to that. And I want to stick that to the orange board as well. So line them all up beautifully, ensure that the orange board, hang on, double-sided tape, finger lift, it's very handy, you just lift that off, make sure it is all stuck down properly, and then finger lift it off, very handy and convenient. I actually use both interchangeably depending on what I'm doing. Board's nice and flat, nothing proud. It's very important that this top mount 
is accurately cut and everything's accurate. Otherwise, you might see the lines might not be parallel. Now, you know, don't need your slip mat anymore, so you can remove that. That's all nice and snug, nice and flat, and secured in place. And I'm now going to set it to 55. So previously I was on 52, and now I'm on 55. Initially, when I teach double mounts, I recommend that you do the 55 border, the 53 border, three, the, the, not the 55 border, the 5 mil gap, the 5 mil colour displayed is more forgiving than the 3 mil. So the narrower the amount of colour that you display, the more likely you are to see errors if you haven't squared your board correctly or if you're talking while you're demonstrating and things go wrong <laughs> you'll see it when you cut the mat let's hope that this is successful there you go that's looking good and that's the double mount shown with this slight orange on the inside and the deeper gray on the outside